Hey, what's up guys? It's the Prop Collector and uh, we're going to take a look at uh, TMNT, the Mirage line, uh, battle damage uh, shredder and splinter. I'm excited about this unboxing. Uh, I've been waiting quite a while for these and they just hit target, so check it out. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to find it. Uh, people are posting these all over the place, so they're available. And um, so yeah, going back to this, uh, this is uh, my favorite, uh, favorite uh, line. The Mirage line TMNT NECA and I don't do enough videos for TMNT I I, I want to start doing more um, so if you can uh, check out the channel so let's uh, open these see what they're all about we'll do a few comparisons especially with the tune line and uh, we'll wrap it up okay we'll take a look at uh, Splinter um, the box uh, the artwork. This is my favorite packaging uh, when NECA does this because you can display it on the shelf and it looks really, really nice. It looks very, very cool. I like the artwork on the back. I love looking at this artwork. And they're in stores now, so guys, keep an eye out. You'll find them. He looks small compared to the tune line, but we'll check that out in a minute. And we'll check out the barcode unless, in case, I'm sorry, anyone is interested. And here's Shredder. It's been a while since I've been wanting a Battle Damage Shredder and we finally got it. Artwork is really cool. Oh, here it is. So if you guys, if that helps... So I'm really excited about this unboxing. I love these figures. I'm a, I mentioned uh, before I'm an outbox collector, but man, had to get double of these. These look super cool. All right, let's open them and uh, see what they're all about. Man, he's a super cool figure. I'll take a, a close up here. And I have them uh, without the head because we're gonna take a look at some articulation. And so, a few accessories, no, not a whole, not a whole lot, but uh, very, very decent. And as this turns, you'll be able to see front and back. Obviously, um, we'll we'll take a look at some uh, articulation, the accessories, both heads, and uh, man, I really, really love this figure. The aesthetics, the way they built it, it feels. I thought it would I thought it would be different but it feels the same as the the other ones the other um, the previous uh, shredders um, I don't know for so I was it was just in my mind I thought it would be a little different oh, sorry about that but there he is is he's only battle damaged from the front you see there his legs the cuts in his chest but nothing on the back I wish he was battle damage on the back but he's not that's that's all right still looks really really cool so this is one of the heads this is the battle damage head obviously and how cool is this This is freaking awesome. And here is the one with his mask or helmet. And I love the way it's uh it's like really dark inside his mask where you can only see his white pupils or eyes. I think this is very very neat. And just quickly on this uh, articulation, so it's a whole piece, it's connected to the neck, and uh, this goes inside, well obviously in here, but it gives it uh, a better articulation than the, the previous um, figures. There it is. And so it's a separate piece, so you get more movement out of it. 
where the patch shredders it was just it, it was just one piece and you just had the the head sitting on top of the neck with the with the obviously the joint there but since this is a separate piece it's just it just gives it much more much more movement so i love that how i was saying that you just you just get more movement this way So quickly, uh, articulation, it's pretty much the same as the past ones. So you get, uh, well, we already saw the neck and the head. Uh, you get double jointed uh, elbows. You get a bicep swivel. You get a uh, wrist swivel or rotation. Um, here are the joints of the legs. Double jointed knees. A hinge at the ankle and the toe articulation also comes with it the uh, with the other shredders you have this uh, also here at the shin the swivel here and no ab crunch yeah man I, I am loving this figure it's really, really cool. He comes, besides the hands that he comes um, out of the box with, he has uh, six set of uh, alternate hands. So you got the grappling, the close fist, the grappling hands, and the semi-open hands, I guess, for thicker or larger weapons, as this one here, as you can see. And these are the semi-open. See, these are really... Which are wide open almost and he comes with the canister it's a green and it has a shade of gray it's pretty cool and then the it's like, like a not a gauntlet but it goes over his forearm that you can plug in his arm right here So not a lot of accessories, but I think enough. It's just the, the looks for me, the way it looks. They just nail it. Uh, it looks exactly like in the comics. Uh, let's take a look at Splinter, and we'll wrap it up. All right. Man, this is awesome. This Splinter is great. I like it more than Shredder, and I thought the Battle Damage Shredder would be my favorite one out of this... Um, Holothon, but I was wrong. It's this guy a thousand percent. I'm sure and uh, I still got to unpack the the turtles That's for another review, but so far this guy is m The best one that I feel it's just like I, I he's just amazing And he has a lot of accessories a lot more than what you can see through the window the the packaging and we'll go over them quickly uh, Check out this little this little splinter So you can see how he's uh, in his training position. A lot of detail. I'll try to get a closer look. But I'm just afraid it's not going to focus in properly. There it is. Man, this is this is great. <laughs> this is so freaking cool. Uh, he has this Ultron alien. And look at his... Check out the... Look at his fangs. Ah, he looks mean. Evil. Look at the detail. This is great. Look at this, um, this mouser. Articulated legs, feet, the mouth opens, the, the jaw, the articulated jaw. See, you can see inside. I need more light, but check that out. awesome man this is the favorite one out of this holothon like i said look at that man uh we'll go over this uh 
canister next. Ooh, spilling out of the canister, this uh, TCRI. This is freaking great. Next, uh, the set of hands. He has two sets of alternate hands plus the ones that he comes that the ones that he comes with out of the box. Uh, so he has those. They're open. Well, he still can get his his cane, and you got these pointing ones, these pointing fingers. Check that out. And the grappling or grabbing hands. Check that out. Okay, his cane he can he can stand very well without his cane. You can see the details, all the lines. Very cool. And he has his little, this little T set. So you got this little pot and this little cup. It's tiny. And, uh, he has the, or he comes with the baby turtles. See those there. Obviously there's four of them. So that's cool. And now let's uh, take a look at uh, Splinter. Just a closer look. The tail is bendable. It, it comes, it's a bendy wire inside, I, I imagine. So you can pose it. And check out his feet. They're large, they're big, so it helps him stand very well. His coat or his uh, gi is soft goods. So I, I thought, when I first got him out of the pack, I thought his mouth or his jaw, it was posable, but no, it's closed. You cannot open it. Uh, articulation in the neck, it's re really good, if you can see up and he can see down so that's awesome arms go up and down no double jointed uh, elbows it's just single but that's all you need for splinter sorry about the focus no double jointed knees it's just single but it gives you a good range. And the hinge down at the feet or ankles, up and down, no rocker. Once again, this guy is great. He stands well because of his big feet. There he is. So he comes with a lot of accessories. The aesthetics, the way they made this guy, I think he, well, I don't think, I know he is my favorite one out of this holothon, and I still got to go over the turtles. Uh, but I am loving what I see so far. It's just very posable for, for, a, for a small figure. Very, very nice. Very posable. He is great. So let's, uh, Compare them with the tune line, and that'll be all. They're both awesome. They're both great. Both have uh, soft goods. Uh, but I, if I had to pick one, I'd go with the Mirage line. He's, or maybe I'm just probably saying it because I just got him and he's great. 
Um, I'm sure I said that from uh, when I got the Tune Splinter. But they're they're great. They're both great. But yeah, right now, the Mirage line uh, is my favorite one. So that's the difference. Uh, very unique in their own way, but they're they're both great figures. They're both awesome. All right, let's uh, check out the battle damage, uh, and we'll compare it to the Toon Shredder. Great figure. Great, great figure. I'm very happy that we finally got a battle damage Shredder. Uh, I wish, uh, well, no, I think, uh, I think, yes, a battle damage Shredder uh, uh, from the Mirage line would be much, much better than, than the Toon line. So... Yeah, I was, I was, I was thinking. Yeah, we should have gotten a battle damage uh, tune line shredder, but, uh, but no, I think this worked out best. Comes with. Uh, I wish th the battle damage shredder came with uh, a few more accessories, but uh, I'm still very happy that we got him. So keep an eye out. They're uh, hitting stores now. Uh, they're hitting Target. They're in the back. Um, a lot of them, well, the Target employees don't stock the NECA section. Uh, they wait for the reps, but they are still employees that will check the back for you. And last comparison. This last comparison with the 2008 Mirage Leonardo. And um, I'm not, I don't know why it took NECA this long, but, you know, we're finally getting to complete our sets. So that's awesome. Again, check your targets. They're out. Um, I'm very curious how uh, they're going to match up with the new Mirage uh, Turtles. Uh, I got those already. They're coming up on my next review. So hopefully, hopefully you guys can um, stop by and check out that review. I plan on doing it uh, tomorrow or Monday. But so far, I believe this is awesome. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the comments, the likes, the subs. Check me out on IG, The Prop Collector. Thanks once again. Keep collecting. Peace out.